Hey guys, Rich from Squeezebox Records here, and today we're going to do a review on an LP that we received a couple of weeks ago um, from Third Man Records, and that's Jack's White, Jack White's Boarding House Reach. Um, and we had a listening party, and it was fantastic. And this is how they sent it in a plain white jacket. So we didn't know what was inside. Uh, so I opened it up, and the first thing that I pulled out was the inner sleeve, which is really nice of them to send that uh, because it has all of the songs and the lyric inside and on the back cover so it was good to be able to follow along while we, while we had the listening party in the front I think that is Jack White actually uh, draped in diamonds at any rate so that was nice to get that to be able to follow along during the listening party now since then I've listened to the album a couple of times and I feel that um, it, it was time to give it a type of review the second thing that I noticed um, when I pulled the record out, the vinyl itself, was that it is uh, trademark third man, heavy duty vinyl, 180 gram. Kind of better to play, I think. Uh, I, I like the heavier records because they seem to sit flatter on your turntable and they just seem to play better. So uh, that that's one thing about this record when you receive it. Uh, it's going to be a heavy duty uh, 180 gram piece that is, uh, you know, uh, top of the line kind of stuff. Now, when I looked at the uh, the labels, either side, none of them have time stamps on them. So I was, uh, you know, I, I didn't understand that, but I guess since it's a promo, that's how they do it. Uh, when you get yours, I'm not sure what it's going to have, but you will have a full jacket, you know, the inner sleeve, and whatever other little uh, gifts they give you inside a sealed uh, new release. Uh, on this one, when we played side one, Connected by Love, which I believe they released maybe two or three weeks ago, um, has, has gotten some buzz. And then the flip side of that is Respect Commander. That was the first single that they let out. And uh, both songs are really, really Jack White-ish, if you know what I mean. After the 20 years he's been in the business, I think this LP in and of itself really culminates in everything that he's done from the instruments that he's played to the people that he's met, that he's put on his records. Um, it all really, really culminates into this uh, piece of music, which is, in my estimation, a, a really nice record. Um, the song that I'd like to talk a little bit about is Corporation. Corporation really stems from, I guess, the beginning of his career to where he's at right now, and, and it plays the gamut from, from industrial rock to there's some gospel and a lot of funk in it. Uh, it's a long playing record. I don't know how long because there is no time stamps, like I said, but it really is a, a, a cool rock piece, something different that you don't hear every day. Um, and then when, I, when we flipped it over and played side B, the very first song, over and over and over, starts out heavy and, and, and in your face kind of thing, and it doesn't let up all the way through the song. Really, really good for you rock and roll lovers out there and your Jack White lovers. You're going to like this song, that's for sure. Um, and as, as we went down the list of um, songs, uh, the, one, the other one that really kind of... Uh, I kind of liked. It's very, very short, maybe a minute, minute and a half. It's uh, Esmeralda Steals the Show, and it's a, it's a poetry piece. So in this album, you have blues, poetry, rock, industrial, jazz, soul, funk, the whole gambit. And that's how, you know, he, that's where he's come from and what he's got so far for, for us. It really is a treat. This record really is a treat. So... Um, we will have it here on March 23rd. That's when the record go comes out for sale. Uh, March 23rd, Squeezebox Records. We will carry this boarding house reach, Jack White, um, and we'll have it in the shop. So uh, that's my take on it. If I had to give it a number between 1 and 10, say, it's a really high 8, 9 on my list. So if you're a Jack White listener, you definitely want this in your collection. If you haven't heard him or if you're not sure about Jack White, you might want to pick it up and listen to what this guy's got. Got to say. I, I really, really, really appreciate this album. So um, that'll be it for this review. My name's Rich from Squeezebox Records, and remember, stay vinyl.